Welcome everyone to just a great song by Billy. I've been in the mood for some Billy Squire to listen to lately and I thought it's a great song to do. Um, I really thought the intro was a 12 string and, and I played it with a 6 and sure enough the 12 sounds best. Now I watched Billy do this live and him and Jeff Golm um, played this acoustically with 6 strings each and, and changed it up quite a bit. There's no electric in it. but we're going to do the recorded version, which I really enjoy. So, the recorded intro starts out four measures with an acoustic guitar kind of answered by electric. So, I'm going to go over the acoustic part here. Again, it sounds fine with the sixth string, but we'll go over those parts and then I'll do the electric. The lead's not hard at all, it's just well, well, well done and some of the licks even in between the uh, verses and the chorus are, are really cool so um, we'll go over that next. It starts out with them and the E is played with a fourth root so we're going to be on the fourth string second fret the third string at the fourth fret and our pinky on the um, second string at the fifth fret so we'll just play four three two then use your middle finger and grab the fourth fret of that fourth string and play four three two. Then you have to or move to the um, fifth position and you're only going to play at this point the fourth and third string. And then you after you hit those you grab the fifth string at I'm sorry it's E to C. We're grabbing the C note. Alright, so we have this, slowly. And then you'll hear the guitar. Now, so that's from E to C. Now we're going to move from D to B. Okay, so what I like to do is just keep my fingers, use the ring and pinky on the um, third and second strings first then use that middle finger down on the second fret of the third string so it'll be three uh, I'm sorry fourth string four three two then move up a full fret to the fourth and third string and grab that B note on the fifth string so far we have this, and each time there's a pause and the guitar answers. Now, I've written this out, so my notes will be linked below. You can download it and uh, follow along. So basically the E to C will repeat again. the D will only go part way through. We're going to go from the open fourth string to the third and second, then the fourth string at the second, and then just hit, and then just hit the F sharp note on the fourth fret of the um, fourth string because the electric guitar comes in right then. So even if he hits or you hit the third, it doesn't matter. It's drowned out by the electric. Alright, so the whole thing slowly, one, two, three, four. Answer guitar. Guitar answers. Guitar answers. And then we're into the song. Okay, so that's the acoustic part. Okay, the first lick you hear from the electric guitar, I've got my pickup in the middle position, mm -hmm. so it's got a little more bass to it. We're going to slide into 12, hit 11, and then go to 9. And it's kind of cut short then again, you hear the acoustic. Second time through will be 11, 9, 7. Again, the acoustic. Now, the third time through, as I did the intro, it's it's harmonized. So you can do the very first lick the same, or you can play these two notes. 
12th fret of the 3rd and 2nd string to the 10 and um, 10 on the 2nd string, 11 on the 3rd, um, and then, let's see, that's 8 on the 2nd and 9 on the 3rd. So, together, it just depends on how you want to play it. It sounds fine just doing it the normal way. But I've written that out, okay, so then we come crashing in down to the uh, bridge pickup with a big E, alright, we're just playing a big E chord. So the lick will go like this. As you start in. But what you're doing is sliding very similar to uh, Lonely as a Night. Okay, the only difference is we're not going to hit the B string. So we're going to slide on the third string, two to four, and I'm using hybrid picking. However you pick it is fine. I'm going to hit the first string after landing at the four. Then I'm going to go back to the second fret of the third string and then pluck the first string. And then I'm going to take the third string with a bend up and a release as I strike it to open and catch the third, I'm sorry, second fret of the fourth string. And then he's into an E chord. He's going to play the top half, the bass part. And then I'm using hybrid picking again. It really sounds better to me because my fingers catch pretty much both strings at the same time. The E and the B string open. So that's the intro lick. And then we're into the verse. And we'll go through the verse and the timing's real specific. That's what I like about Billy Squire. You can really learn timing because his um, his songs really have a very good sense of timing and very well constructed. Okay, there's a couple things that are pretty consistent throughout the song. Whenever we play the E chord, we're just going to be placing, playing basically the top part of the chord, the 6, 5, 4, maybe it's the bottom part, I don't know, whatever, whichever way you look at it. And then plucking the third, I'm sorry, first and second string. So that's really consistent throughout the song. Um, the other thing that's consistent in the verse, he just plays cowboy chords. They really sound best. So it'll be a C, a D, a B minor, and back to our E. All right. So again, I've written this out. But for the reverse, after we come in. To our C, and it's going to be this. So a down, up, down, and then we move to a D, power chord basically, to an A minor power chord. And again, each one is down, up, down, and he kind of stops between. Although as the song gets on, he lets the, the chords ring a little bit more before you move to the next. But again, timing wise, it's a down, up, down. Now, when you get to the A, before you come back to E and turn it around, if you will, there's a down, up on this A, or A minor, I should say. And then you go into your flows that way and it really does flow very well 
So the verse, we'll be doing the E, C, D, A minor three times. The fourth time, we're going to switch the A minor to a B minor and do a walk down. Okay, so the B minor, you're really not playing the whole chord. It's really a power chord. And then you're doing a walk down. You're going to go from B to A, fifth string open, sixth string a G, and then F sharp, and then our E. Alright, so we have this. One, two, three, four. So then you're into the chorus. All right, the chorus is going to start out with that E, and then we're just going to play a cowboy C first position, cowboy D, B minor first position, back to our E, and he just holds the chords. He doesn't play anymore. So let the chorus breathe. And then the second time through, instead of B minor, we're going back to B or to an E. Okay, after that, you'll hear that very first lick again. All right. All right, so I'm going to go through the chorus so you can see how it fits together. And you're into it again, okay? Let's talk about verse 2, it's just like verse 1. Until you do the walk down. Okay, so what he changes there when he goes to that E, he's not going to pull up on the high strings, he's going to go right into the lick. So we're, here's the second half of the chorus where we go from C, I'm sorry, E to C to D back to E. Okay, so the lick, it's not really difficult, it's just so well executed. It's on the fourth string, we're going to go two, four, five as far as striking notes. Then we're going to hit four again and hammer on to five, pull off to four, pull off to two, pull off to open. Alright, so takes a little bit of practice, but... So the difference with the chorus two is after that different lick, we're going to go into another couple um, measures of the chorus, okay? But when we end on E, it's just going to be a plain um, upper E. It's not going to be just be the top half of the chord. So it'll be. Um, let me take it from the lick. Talk about the bridge next, but 
Um, this last chorus is real important with that lick because this is what takes us out of the song. Um, the chorus is sung actually over the um, solo. So you'll be doing a chorus and the solo will end and you'll do that lick. Anyhow, we'll, I'll show you how all that fits together, but um, we'll go over the bridge next. The bridge is basically power chords. It's going to go C to D to B minor back to C and then repeat. C, D, B minor, C, C, D, B minor, C, C, D, and then he just holds a B minor on the uh, fourth measure. All right, so what he does there, he's got some special effects going on with the keyboards or whatever it is, but he's hitting the C. Each chord gets down strum, strum twice, but it's just kind of like a, a two count between. Okay, so the difference is, wait a minute, hold on, hold on. the bridge. Now, we're into the solo. During the solo, there's chorus three. Okay, he will sing over the solo. So chorus three is your basic E, C, to D, B minor, or E again, C, D, and then E ends it. the solo right when you hear that lick up to that point um, again he's singing the third chorus over so the rhythm let's continue on with the rhythm and I'll come back to the solo the rhythm will continue on with I call it the fourth chorus and we just kind of go out with choruses all right he changes the words a little bit but it's your basic <laughs> So the other thing you'll hear is after the B minor, he will always kind of slide into the E. Again, the lick kind of signifies the end. The lick will be three times through the fourth chorus. And after you do it then, it starts fading out. You'll do your E, C, D, and then you can barely hear a B minor. So that's the end of the song. So we'll go over the solo next, which is not very difficult, but I really think this is a great song for timing, just some good licks to learn and including the solo. It's just well executed. So we'll go over that next. All right, I'm going to play the solo and then we'll go over it next. Again, not very difficult. Um, I've got kind of a dry mix going. I didn't add any delay or anything, but that would add to the solo. What we're doing is a unison bend on the first string at the 12th fret, 15 at the 
second string. Then he hits it again, but he hits that 15 string bet three more times to a release. So it's just the 15 you hear being released, because as he hits those uh, other notes, it drowns out the 12. Then we move up to the second string at 17. We're going to hit that four times, bent, and kind of bend each time and then release. All right, so the first section. Then what we do right there is we go to the 15th fret of the set, first string to the 14th fret and then 17 on the second string. Then we move to the 20th fret of the second string and we're going to come back to 1917. Sound familiar? Yeah, same notes. Then we're going to take 20, bend that up, and then hit it unbent to 17 on the first string to, I'm sorry, 19 with a slight bend. We're just bending it up a half step. It's almost like more vibrato bend, if you will. Just a slight bend and vibrato, and that is the solo. So let's do it again together slowly. One, two, three, four. All right, that is a solo. Again, it's short, it's sung over that third chorus, and you'll hear ending it and going into the fourth chorus and finally fading out with the song. So I really hope that helps everybody. I know, you know, it's it's just a it's a great Billy Squire song to learn. So enjoy.